Today we're collecting dirt. I don't really know why we're collecting dirt, but we're gonna go with it. Probably because once we get enough dirt, we can upgrade to cloth boots for an extra 0.5 PPS. So now that we have an extra half a PP, we're gonna continue mining because I assume every time I take a bite of dirt now, it's gonna give me a little bit more. Or maybe it automatically mines, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it seems to be mining all by itself, but I can also click to make it a little bit quicker. And in traditional fashion, the more we mine, the more we can upgrade, which means the more we can mine. Find blocks, abilities, pickaxes, and more in chests. Oh, we found one already. Six wood. That'll complement my peepees -pee nicely, plus some pumpkins. And clay. And a drill. A drill sounds something that would be handy in a world where pickaxes are the ruler. One of two. Dig through blocks dealing sustained damage for a period of time. We're gonna go ahead and equip that. And now we're drilling and pickaxing at the same time. All in search of more peepees. -pee. Large gold chest, large diamond chest, large mythical quest we just need 800 balls of pink salt and we can unlock a new area we're gonna do that right away because that's probably gonna have the best stuff for us don't need to buy anything at least not yet all we need is another 60 dirts apparently i found a boss fight good luck finding me i literally just did oh, okay that makes more sense he was the red one wasn't he gotta hit the red one and he's dead that was as easy as it looks. Hopefully I get rewarded very well with pumpkins. Uh, I think I got his soul, which probably isn't worth a lot, but I'll take it. Look at all the pickaxes oh we can my. go through. There's so many. We have just a basic one. Oh, I can't wait till we get all the way up to Riptide. For now, I'm just going to auto-click my way up to 200 dirts. Then we're going to buy the desert right away because I don't want to be here anymore. I always assume the new areas have better stuff. And I can actually buy some materials if I give up the pickaxes. I have 537 picks currently, so if I want to buy one of these, I can buy one for 10 picks. Okay, we get a reward for doing that. Click to open. I love treasure. Clay, pumpkin, and wood. Oh, also sand, cactus. Well, now it's a party. Now, where was I? Unlocking a new area. Desert, coming on up. Now we'll at least get different background material. And I'm just going to mine like this, then we're going to upgrade some stuff. We've unlocked critical strikes. Chance on tapper swing to critical strike cause more damage and generating more picks. Yes. Not even sure what I have for material right now, but I'm going to buy the paper because that's 20 PPs a second. And that started my picks moving a long ways up. And at this rate, we're going to be able to afford new things very quickly. We're already at almost 2,000 picks. I've noticed in the desert here, though, we don't get a lot of dirt or wood. And those might be two things that I kind of need, at least for the early upgrades. Then again, we can buy things for what looks like sand, like a headscarf or a water canteen. So we're going to save up for those. And we can also craft useful blocks with the excess blocks in the furnace. Yes, we're going to turn this into that. As it is level myself up by using my picks, because the more picks I have, the more I can level up. See, the number goes up as the pickaxe mines. So once that hits 100%, we can level up again and then spend some of those skill points on whatever we want. Like increased chance of critical strike times three. And then one point to increase pickaxe damage by 5%, and then one point into increase damage of critical strikes. Now nah, we'll be mining quicker than ever. Then I think we can actually buy a clay pickaxe, which might be better than ours. I think it's at least going to look different than the one we had, and that's a big enough change for me. Speed-wise, I can't really tell, but I'm just going to let it do its thing for a while. Then I'm also going to activate the drill at the same time and we're going to make a giant mess. But look how many picks we have. There's 15,000 already. And then we can unlock the cactus pickaxe just like that. So this should transform into what's hopefully a better one. I will say that it looks better. And thanks to our 26,000 and growing picks, we can level up a few more times. So let's increase the number of block types dropped in chests and probably just increase our luck. I think luck could be good for basically anything. And then we managed to mine 50 what I assume is glass, so we're going to buy that. And then water canteen because of all that sand and the cactus. And now we're at 255 PPs. And then while I'm at it, I'm just going to buy some of the other things because I really had might as well. It's all going to add up to more value for me. I'm also going to go back to the plains for a bit because I feel like I'm going to need lots of dirt. And we're mining lots of it. I think we're getting 105 per chunk. And I'm just going to do this till we're up to 100,000 picks. And then we're going to spend that value and move to the tundra. And that really didn't take long at all. So let's level up a few more times and then we're probably going to increase our pickaxe damage again because I want to be able to break stuff faster. So let's do two more levels to increase pickaxe damage and then probably one more to luck. And now we have enough pumpkins to buy pumpkin spice for an extra 70 PPS. And I guess I'll just spend some of the wood because... Well, what else am I going to do? Those are going to add a little bit of PPs. Whatever the case, we're now up to 382 PPS. And it won't take long to build our way back up to 100,000 picks again. So we're going to do 150,000 and counting. And before we can unlock the tundra, we need to spend more, mine more sand again from the desert. So we'll be back in a sec. Then if I activate my two abilities, we're mining quicker than we have yet. 
Well, there's the 200 whatevers I needed, but we might keep going just a little bit, because if we get enough glass, we can get a glass pickaxe. All oh, right, we definitely do not have enough for the glass pickaxe, which is what I was hoping for, so we're going to sit here until we do have enough. You know what? We're going to settle for the standstone pickaxe because it looks like it does more damage than the glass pickaxe anyways. It kind of blends in, but I'm sure it does more damage to mine quicker than ever before. Oh right, I actually needed all those blocks to go to the tundra. We did just break the 1 million picks mark, but I have a feeling by the end of today we're going to have a lot more than that. Before moving on, we need to upgrade our levels a few times. There's another three whole levels. So let's increase critical damage twice, and then we're going to increase our luck one more time. Then find out what this is. Increase the duration of pickaxe power. Can't afford that anyway, so food for thought. Now we can go to the tundra, which is nice and icy. But I'm also going to buy the head scarf for an extra 450 picks per second. And then the clay sword for 75. You get the drill. I'm just going to keep clicking these so I get more per second. 455 peepees. Oh, these look like sapphires. I should probably be mining these more. Well, we're getting a lot of new materials, so we're just going to let them go. We get a free chest when we mine another thousand blocks, so that won't take long at all because there's a hundred already. So let's open this one right now to take its spoils, which didn't have much. There's a bit of glass and a strength potion, but I can also spend some of my ice to add an ice helmet, ice chest plate, etc. So that's going to give me more PPs per second. But the real magic comes from me physically clicking, which means I'm probably going to want the sapphire pickaxe over all of them for 200 sapphires because that seems to be the strongest. It only took me gathering 2.1 million picks but we have enough sapphires for the sapphire pickaxe so we're gonna buy one of those while clicking on the creep but look at this bad boy but it mines very quick yeah that seems to be going pretty quick we're making tons well now we got a little boost so we're making 2500 pps a second but the pickaxe is a big improvement so once this little boost is done uh we're going to upgrade some of our other gear we always look for the ones with the biggest gains, so for 1,000 ice blocks, we get an extra 230 picks per second. That basically adds 50% to what we were doing before. That's going to be a big improvement. This is going to be a big improvement. So is this one. So we're up to 1,045 PPS. Can probably afford a few levels up at this point. There's two more. I'm not really sure where companions are, but this increases our chance to find companions, so we're going to take a few of those. And let's unlock the cave while we're at it. We're mining about 10,000 picks every two seconds, maybe a little over two seconds. We need to get that up to under one second. But I'm pretty sure I'm starting to mine some diamonds. We're definitely getting some gold and looks like obsidian, emeralds, but also diamonds. That makes me wonder what the diamond pickaxe is like. The ruby pickaxe is definitely very strong at 15 attack power. The diamond is good for 12 damage, the emerald for 13. So we'll see which one of those we unlock first. We're already at 6 out of 100 for the emeralds. The layers on these levels are also much stronger. Sometimes it takes me a few seconds just to get through a single layer. And there's 100 emeralds. So let's upgrade our pickaxe to the emerald. That's going to give a big boost to damage. Plus, it just looks better. So let's see how much faster it works. Yeah, it's tearing through those levels. These used to take sometimes up to 2 seconds each to tear through. This one goes quick. And if we get a little boost at the same time, that puts us up to 5582 pickaxes per second. So also we should probably upgrade some of our gear because we mined a lot of new materials, some of which should be worth some pretty good upgrades. Like the sharpening stone for 200 picks per second, the lantern for 260 plus the iron gear for 200. Everything else is lesser but maybe still worth it, I don't really know. Diamond boots? Who doesn't like diamond stuff? If we get full diamond gear while we're at it, is that worth it? Probably not realistically. Whatever the case, we're now up to 2350 PPS naturally and 11.5 million picks. So we can level up a few more times for sure. So let's upgrade companion chance one more time. We just need a few chests to actually activate that. So maybe increased chance to fight mobs. I assume they drop me good stuff, so that can only help. Now to unlock the nether, we're going to need 400 what I assume is obsidian, so I'm going to be mining a little while longer, but at least we're doing it at a faster rate now. We're getting 939 per click. Time really flies when you have an emerald pickaxe. We're up to 400 obsidians and almost 15 million picks in total. Before moving on to a new level, let's level up a few more times to see what else we can get. Increase the duration of pickaxe power. I think that means the hyper boost that gives me like a 5 times boost to my picks per second. Then let's unlock the nether before spending all the resources we need to unlock the nether and then we can upgrade our gear. This stuff is expensive. That's 350 uh, redstone for 400 pps though, that's actually pretty good and that's 300 pps. So both of those, we're up to 3000 pps. I don't know what materials are here, but it would be cool to get a ruby pickaxe or better. Which maybe makes me think I'm overlooking some of the details of this game, but we'll just keep doing what we're doing for now because it seems to be working so far.
Collecting rubies is taking a little while, and we do have enough for a glowstone pickaxe, which is a little bit better, so we're gonna go for that just to speed up the process to get the ruby pickaxe. Plus, a new visual never hurts. As much fun as it is staring at a uh, swinging pickaxe all day, well, it's really just not. And when I get my bonus, we're up to 15,000 pickaxes per second. You know what? While we're at it, let's upgrade some of our gear, because if I can get this number up a little higher, we'll get to where we're going a lot quicker. So maybe I'll just start with the clay axe, and hopefully we can work our way through to never mind. Well, we'll buy what we can. I'm not spending any rubies, but I will spend emeralds. Maybe I should go back and mine some of that stuff at super speed. There is a sapphire amulet for 400 PPS and extra gold bars. Maybe it'd be worth going back to mine some of that basic stuff. Plus, we just get to see how much more powerful we are now as we blink through the levels, because I'm way overpowered for mining this stuff. Already we can afford a sandstone sword and then an ice sword because we have lots of that and then a stone sword and an iron sword. Oh, we're working our way up actually pretty quickly now. This was actually a good idea on my part. One of the few I've ever had. Now hopefully we have enough leftovers to upgrade the sandstone axe. We're going to need more ice for the ice axe. Anything else we can buy yet? Nope, I think we're going back one more level. You can kind of hardly even see what kind of level it is, what kind of ground it is because it just blinks away. So it shouldn't take as long to upgrade our wooden shovel and clay hoe. There's our shovel. And now we just need lots of clay. And I just realized the furnace, I can combine other things to make more valuable things. I'm probably not going to mess with that too much yet because I feel pretty competent in my mining abilities. But when things are getting slow, we're going to start furnacing. I upgraded my shovel, so now we just need a little bit more for that clay hoe. There's the clay hoe, there's the cactus hoe, back to the sandstone, I guess. There's just so many things to upgrade, and so little time. But there's a clay pot, which might have disappeared altogether. Anyways, we need to go to the next area to mine sandstone. Luckily, it's pretty quick to mine, so this won't take more than a minute. But we got enough for the sandstone hoe, and almost enough for the sandstone shovel. Which means we're back to mining ice, which is exactly the kind of thing uh, it sounds like I would be doing with my time. 20 million picks later, let's get some ice upgrades. Ice sculpture for an extra 150, ice axe for that, ice hoe, ice shovel. Wow, I'm surprised we were able to afford all of those. Hopefully the stone stuff is all the same, and then the... Not quite the iron. The gold, though. Okay, do we get iron here at least? It appears we don't. Well, at least we get a new backdrop. And we're up to 4,278 picks per second. Mobs drop more blocks. I haven't seen a mob. Maybe I have and I'm doing this wrong. Whatever the case, I feel I'll get more use out of upgrading my pickaxe fuel. Another 20 million picks later, we can get our iron shovel, our gold hoe, and our diamond axe. Then we're back to mining gold and diamonds again, because of course we are, but at least these are starting to add up. My bonus at this point gets me 22,505 picks per second, which is pretty considerable amount. We're back over 20 million already. I could afford to buy a bunch of other pickaxes if I want to. I'm just not really sure if there's a point. I'm not really sure what these symbols on this side actually mean. I guess the ruby pickaxe is a slight improvement, so let's give that one a try. That looks pretty good. And it's probably moderately faster at mining through this stuff, and that's going to be a big help to me, because things are getting a little bit slow. At least until I do this, we're at least mining some blocks now. We're also going to give ourselves a ruby chest plate, just because we want to be fancy. And another level up means I can get a better one of these. Longer pickaxe fuel. Maybe we should try and summon the next boss. Spend 10 runic, uh, I think we have 60 of those, so let's give that a try and see how this goes. Did that work? Oh, we gotta mine 100 blocks, then we get the boss. But I'm hoping the boss shows up and then unlocks us something very good. A few more blocks to go, there we go, summon boss. Is it the same as last time? Whack-a-mole? Pull the mole, this idiot again. All right, well, I'm just gonna use my auto clicker once again, and all I gotta do is mouse over them and they die. In a clicker game, I know, right? It's very surprising. I actually missed one. I don't wanna talk about that one. I didn't actually think this was gonna be at all anything of a challenge, so. They rewarded me. I kind of auto clicked through that, but I assume there was some good stuff in there, probably. And then it's only three hours till the next boss. Or is it? 85 more blocks to go, we're gonna fight the boss, because I wanna see what they actually give you as a reward. This is a new one. I assume it involves lots of clicking. Oh, do I have to follow that thing around? Oh, I see, I like send it back at him, and then I smack his booty, like any good boss. All right, well, let's do that again. Here, you can have that back. You're probably not going to outclick me, considering I'm kicking like a thousand times a second. Oh, right, okay, good, yep. My weak spot. Maybe you should have, you know, not covered that with the band-aid. Now we got netherite brick, uh, riptides, tide mud, nether quartz. The nether brick for sure is good. Those bricks are what I need to unlock the mesa. And I can actually make those out of uh, netherrack or whatever it's called. 
We can make 25 of those, so we're gonna smelt 25 of those while I'm mining away. I guess in theory this is the quickest way to be mining because I'm mining lots of netherrack and stuff right now and it's gonna turn it into netherite bars. Didn't get anywhere close to done my furnace smelting before unlocking the mesa. So we're gonna do that right away because I need new stuff and new scenery. I'm sure there's lots of good stuff here for upgrades. There's even blocks that fly across the screen sometimes that I need to click on. Pretty sure those are gonna give me a hearty bonus when they do show up and I do manage to hit them. But most importantly, what kind of pickaxes are we after here? Probably the topaz. For 100 topazes, we'll put my damage up to 18, and I think I'm at 15 now. Also, I should have checked back on this after the boss because I can buy the cursed amulet, the nether star, and then this crimson stuff also now, so I'm up to 5500 PPS. 5500. So, now I just let this game run at 5500 PPs for the next 4 days until I record another video and then we'll be rich.